CapCut has an AI remove feature that I have not checked out yet. Supposedly you can remove objects from a video. Let's find out how it works. Oh, I've got a video clip where a dude's going to show up, do a little skating across there and disappear. But you know, maybe I don't so much like this light fixture that's up here. This starts off a little slow. We're just sort of looking at that wall for a few minutes there. It feels like, I know it's only seconds, but it feels like minutes before he shows up. So the first thing I'm going to do is trim that in so we have something happening in the beginning other than just staring at this wall or half pipe, whatever it is. I'm not real sure. That's much better. We got our guy coming in sooner. And right about there, he's gone. So that's where I'm going to end the clip. And part of the reason for that is because even with taking out that beginning, this clip is still 13 seconds at nine frames. And the object removal only works for clips 10 seconds or less. So drag in this end. That gets us to seven seconds, 19 frames. I've got the clip selected. Now over on the right panel under video and basic. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and click AI remove. The brush size by default is at 40 and if I click on the right you'll be able to see that brush in the center of the screen showing us how big or little you want it to be and somewhere in there is just fine. Now I need to come over here and just brush over the thing that I want to get rid of. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so that I make sure I'm getting just what I need and not what I don't. All right, now I need to select my brush again. Now with my brush, I'm just going to go over the stuff that I don't want. So there, that is what I don't want. And now I will just click remove. And it tells me there that it's going to cost 100 credits and I have 450 credits left. Paid CapCut subscribers have 550 credits every month. If you want more, you can buy more but you're allotted the 550 a month to use across the various different AI tools that they have in here, some of which consume credit. We can go ahead and zoom this back down. I believe I managed to move my image, so let's get it back on the canvas where it's supposed to be. And it's working. Unfortunately, CapCut is not real good about letting you know what it's doing or what its status is. Sometimes it tells you, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, the only reason I know it's actually doing something is because I have a stop button over here instead of start. And if I hover in some certain places like here, I'll get a little pop up that says, hey, I can't do that because I'm busy doing something. Can't generate another feature is being applied. So that's how I know it's actually doing something. And this is not fast. I mean, we've got a seven second clip here that we're just trying to remove that from. All right, it took a few minutes, but we finally have a remove button. I missed it if it popped up and said it was done removing. But since this button has switched from stop to remove, that means it's done. Let's see what we've got. All right, a light went away, a little spot left. And oh, 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 what happened to our dude? Oh, yeah, that's no good. No good at all. I was kind of focused on this little dot that was left up here, but our guy just sort of evaporates and then comes back. Maybe we're asking too much by trying to get rid of something where another object, our guy, passes in front of it. So let's add this clip of this guy with the dogs on the beach. In the beginning of this clip, there's somebody walking down here. Maybe we want to get rid of that person or persons. I can't really tell which it is. Let's go back to the beginning. Click on our AI remove, take our little brushy brush. Just going to put, that only takes one. Well, no, I guess I got to move it. Okay. All right. I can't just click the dot and make a circle there. I actually got to like move the brush. So there we go. We got rid of that. Now let's say remove and see what it does. All right, here we go. Let's see if our little guy's gone. I don't see him so far, but some weird morphing happening over there. Yeah, not cool. And then we're back to our dude that's going to vaporize where the light fixture was. So that seemed like a pretty basic removal request there. We had a tiny little object over here in this whole entire video. Nothing else was really passing in front of that object. You wouldn't think that would be too hard to remove. And I mean, it removed it, but there's something weird happening there. It's not doing a very good job with it. So I'm not sure how much simpler the conditions need to be for it to work, but it doesn't look like it's going to do me a whole lot of good because these are the kinds of things that I would think of that maybe I would want to remove from the video. If you've got a different experience with it, let me know if you're here to just see how it works to decide whether you want to use it or not. Well, I hope I saved you the trouble of having to figure it out like I did. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.